have no idea how good that felt to say after the past four months. By the way, Happy New Year. Now, let me just get into the details really quick regarding the title of the video. So yes, I was scammed twice. In one of those times, I just made a really bad investment, which served as a catalyst for me having to sell my phone so I could pay the rent where the second scam happened. Remember that job that I was excited about? You know, the one that focused on personal development? Well, in case you forgot, I only got into it because of the personal development. I was basically counting on them to help me improve my weaknesses. Discipline being a major weakness, which I will say has improved dramatically. But no thanks to them. The first red flag for me was when they started asking us for 4,300 Mexican pesos. It was just to buy some products which then they would teach us how to resell so we could make our money back. Me as an aspiring entrepreneur, I try to see everything through a business lens. So I thought, okay, the benefit here is that I get to learn different methods of selling, which is what being an entrepreneur is all about. You invest, sell, make it back, plus more. However, that wasn't enough to convince me to make the investment of 4,300 Mexican pesos. A few other things did. So I was promised a fixed salary of 2,400 Mexican pesos as a supervisor. I would basically help organize people, supervise them, do the supervisor things, and I would also basically be a runner for the boss, which I thought, damn, that's a lot of good experience I can gain on here. And on top of that, I was basically going to be trained to be a leader, to be an entrepreneur with all the good habits, all the good experiences, everything that I basically need to become the man I see myself in the next eight years. That's what they promised, but none of it was true. In the end, the pay was based on commission only. Just for that alone, I left. You know, I used to have a job similar to this one that was nothing but commission, right? I stayed there for five months, and honestly, I wasn't about to put my health in jeopardy again. Because see, as a successful person, if you have money but you don't take care of your health, well, honestly, that's not the way things should be. Things should always be balanced. And the way things were looking here, I wasn't going to have both, which I didn't have both after I left, but at least it wasn't at this job where they lied to us. I'm not really mad so much about the money just the fact that they lied to us. Money, it's your friend, it comes and goes, so I don't feel so bad about it after I lose it. I try to look and feel beyond that. Afterwards, I had very little money left and jobless again, so I reached out to the other call center, which I turned down because of this job. I reached back out to them to see if they would still accept me. They did. Um, I started working there on October the 3rd and still am employed there up until today until I'm able to go back to the other call center job where I got fired from. Oh, and by the way, I kind of forgot to mention this completely. Um, the only reason why I got fired, I found this out afterwards, by the way. Um, apparently, I said something that offended my supervisor at that time. And well, you know, her being the sensitive female, um, you know, she got me fired. So that's pretty much why I got fired. But honestly, if she hadn't done that, I wouldn't be here like this today so I'm pretty grateful for the negative things in life because they're necessary for you to evolve as a human being. So after I started working at the new call center, rent was coming up, however I wasn't going to make it so my next move was to start selling things I own. The only thing that sold was my old phone, my Lanix Ilium M9, sold it for 1,200 Mexican pesos, which helped pay for the full rent of 2,500, which at this point was actually starting to get really expensive. So I had to find a new place by November, and I did. It's, it's where I currently am today. However, at its tradition, whenever you move out of a place that you rent, you're supposed to get your deposit back. Unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. So not only did I not get my deposit back, but she actually expected me to pay another 2,500 for the 11 days I had overstayed at the place. I mean, I told I told my landlord that um, I'd be willing to pay half, no problem, that seems fair. But no, she actually demanded the full 2,500. Now, she didn't get shit and I didn't get my deposit back. Which again, it's just money. I don't care much about it. Um, the only thing that pisses me off is the fact that there's people like this. Today, I am much better financially and much wiser thanks to these recent setbacks. You know, I did mention in old videos that with this channel, you're basically witnessing my journey to success and it was gonna get really messy. So far, I've raged, cried, starved, but I never forgot what I'm after, which is the most important thing. You can lose your attitude once in a while, that's fine. But once you're done with that, just move the fuck on, which is what I've tried to apply in these recent setbacks. I'm taking the hard path 
because that's where you evolve. That's where I'm going to get the skills and the experience that I need to build my seven empires around the world and become who I see myself becoming in the next eight years. I don't want temporary success. My success will be everlasting. And these are the things that I have to do and go through to get that. One day, my empires will scrape the skies. been my life for the past four months you're all caught up now so what's gonna happen next well basically the same things that I said would happen in my channel update video rewatch it if you have to the only thing different now is that my upload schedule will be on Monday so once a week for now my social media are all still the same um, huge shout out to all of my wonderful patrons their contribution has actually helped me out a little bit especially you Emma you know you're always active and I know that right now you're going through things yourself right now but you're there it's temporary just find a way there's always away by the way check out these nice rocks I was just sitting in just wanna you know just wanna appreciate them real quick yep all right I'm gonna go down that little hill right now on the skateboard let's see if I don't bust my ass oh oh oh, oh okay all right we're going too fast now nope <laughs> sorry man I'm stupid but not that stupid Diego thank you so much for all those suggestions you've been giving me I definitely have been looking into them so shout out to you for that. Sorry, I'm trying to skate and vlog here at the same time. Kind of like Casey Neistat. I'm not there yet. Um, Luis, amigo. Igual, te la pasas bien activo ahí en Patreon. Se te agradece, carnal. Vamos muy rápido. We're going too fast. Hell no. Nope. Uh, Wes, Wes Moody Webcast. My man, I see you trying to help me out in different ways. I really appreciate it. By the way, I've also been stalking your YouTube channel as well recently. Other people should as well, so... His channel is in the description. Check him out. Shout out to him. And all the other three that aren't as active, but still pledge every month. Maria, Heber, Edgar. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just seven wonderful patrons. January 1st, 2020. The first day of 2020. Start of a brand new decade. Here's to 364 other opportunities that are to come. There's plenty of good opportunities coming for all of us. You just have to be on the lookout for them. One of those wonderful things is going to be my content. So stay on the lookout for my content. Subscribe, like this video, comment. You know what to do, guys. <laughs>